Hey there everybody, Thetman here and welcome back to Halcyon 6 Starbase Commander. Now last time, we, well we got a, we got one of our places that's under attack here we need to take care of. We got, we had some good adventures with Barry, Margo, but I need to actually start moving around and collecting some of these resources. I got 20 crew here, 40 crew there, like 50 resources here. I got a lot of stuff to pick up, so I'm thinking... I'm going to take my fleet, my main fleet, and I'm going to circle around um, and get as many of these resources as I can. I'm actually probably just going to head straight to the sector first. Uh, does this show me? No, it doesn't show me how much strength the sector itself has. So I should start heading there first. This fuel would be good, too. Um, the, the thing is, you know, as soon as I send someone out, I'm probably going to get pirates all up in my woe. So, and I am working on the neural upgrades here with Pandora. So I'm thinking we still want to take care of this first. So let's send a fleet. They got a clipper, a basher, and two bashers, actually. I think we can send, yeah, the Disciple, the Knight, and the Marksman, Barry, Edith, and Lucas. They're going to go repair our ships. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. We have someone heading towards us. Corazon officers. Oh, we have two someone's heading towards us. Slars are heading to your two. What the heck's going on? Sir, the Corazon Zealots have entered the system and are preparing to assault the base. Oh. Um. Dang. I guess we should have waited for this to happen first. Whoops. Wait a minute. Let me check something real quick quick here okay return home i guess we gotta well i don't want to do that but first they took up artillery position uh oh so yanthu supporting terran dogs you'll hand over that station immediately oh my god we look at all this we got here why do they want the station only the mighty zlar pass uh pass our god a deserve the incredible power of this precursor station Ask about the rebellion. Ever since taking power, the Zlar Yanthu Directorate has opposed our genetic lineage. Now it is their turn to conquer. Now we give in to our demands. No. Uh. All right. Jeez. I guess we got to send us back. We are losing crew like crazy right now. Like, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's Lord Yanthu Fleet. Vicious, determined, wildly oversensitive people. Something's happened to set these ones against you. So, what do they have? Exensus Mark III. Weak against defensive systems. Things that take out their defenses. Uh, resistant to crew and crew panicked. Engineering ship. They have two of those. Ion Burst can disable our ship with a 95% chance? Holy cow! And laser strikes just direct damage. This thing, the Orator. This is our science vessel. Laser strike, threatening shot, can disrupt our weapons. Okay, do we have things that could take out their defensive systems? Not on Lucas, but we can... Actually, trying to panic them won't help, because it does crew damage. I mean, it still hurts, but it's not, like, the best thing. I'm thinking we're just going to go with a regular incisor beam first. Ay, ay, ay. I know they're tankier, but I am really afraid of these things being able to disable our ships. Threatening shot. Yikes. That's less damage. And, of course, they did that on our most damaging ship. Let's see. Do we have anything that can take target their defense systems? Not off the top of our heads, but I can try to lock them down a little bit. Oh, they resisted it all. Dang it! Oh, that's bad. Ooh, that is bad. And we don't have anything that attacks their defensive systems, so I'm thinking we need a supercharge. <clears throat> we need to bring attention to us. They have Mark III ships, though. That hurts. That hurts a lot, just the fact that they have Mark III ships. Because we don't have anything that can match that. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know what we're gonna do here. They, we are in bad shape. 
All right. Let's... Let's try the Disruptor Beam. It probably won't do too much damage, but if we can panic them at all, having them... Ooh, disrupt their weapons, too. Yeah, if we can at least panic them and bring down their weapons a bit, that will reduce their attack capabilities. Let's exploit that weapons disruption right now. There we go. What is this? Blood Rage. They channel their rage at being damaged into increased damage. Of course. Well, you know what? That's too bad, because we still have to fight you as much as we can. I'm thinking we go with a deconstruct. There we go. That hull breach will be good. Let's go with the bullseye, I think, because just because it's the most damaging. Now let's go with the taking out their weapons again. Because we can at least capitalize on that a little bit more. We can't capitalize on the hull breach, too. Nah, let's, uh, let's incise her. There we go. Man, these fights are getting a lot harder. Oh, boy. This Blood Wrath is pretty rough. Okay, we're gonna need to get some healing going on there. Come on, max damage. Bullseye. Come on, Barry! Oh, so close. Oh, that's all right. Um, Edith can finish him. Good stuff. We we strongly lack healing in this fight. That's our problem. We do have matter reconstruction. Adaptive armor. I completely forgot about that. Thank you, Lucas, for having something. Okay. That's going to help a lot. Now we can concentrate on these guys. Let's start with a disruptor beam again. Hmm. We didn't get the... We didn't get it that time. Let's go with a bridge shot. That'll hurt. Hmm. Ah, oh, they resisted that one, too. They just refuse to have status problems. We're going to reinforce our hull on our knight. Yeah, they are hitting it hard. And they're still pounding on it. So, actually, it's a good thing that I did that. I like that. They're falling for my tricks. Which is good. Okay. Once we're down to one enemy, I think at that point, and we refresh the crew panic, which is great. Once we're down to one enemy, uh, we're going to use our matter reconstruction to completely repair the knight. I'm just waiting for that chance. All right, weapons are down. Exploiting it. Awesome damage. He has blood rage now. Which is bad, because double damage hurts. We could exploit the crew panic to try to disable their ship, but I think just doing basic damage is a better strategy for now. Good evasion. Oh my god, that was amazing. That was absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm thinking this is a better move. Get our healing back. Get that adaptive, adaptive, excuse me, armor back up. Great evasion. Ugh. Okay. Let's finish this guy off. Yeah, on the verge of death, devote everything to taking their foe along to the grave. So they get double damage when their health gets low enough. Oh, triple shot hits them all? I did not notice that. I should have. I should have noticed that. But anyway, that worked out great. Okay, now that he's the only one left, threatening shot, there goes our weapons. That's okay, because Lucas is not going to be using his weapons right now. He's using Matter Reconstruct, which also works on all of us, so maybe I should save that. I should. Adaptive Armor. Alright, good stuff. I'm going to follow that up with a Flak Barrage. I'm going to follow that up by going ahead and disabling, or not disabling their weapons. Well, we tried. <laughs> Panic! Excellent. That's awesome, actually, because we can turn that panic into a disable. Awesome. And then we can disrupt their weapons. Oh, yes, the crit! Oh, that was beautiful! Because now we can use matter reconstruction and get our health all the way back up. Oh, Lucas, you god, godly, godly scientist. 
Finish him. Booyah. Get out of here. And then the Corazon fleet, because we have full health, we are in perfect condition to fight these guys as well. And they're far weaker. All right, and I believe their leader was in the top ship. We fought this before. We already did this fight. I don't know. I think it's because of the way it saves. It only saves at the top or the beginning of the day that you save at. So this fight happened sometime during that day. I, I'm not 100% sure. That's what I think happened. Either way, it's weird. But we're going to start with a triple shot from Barry. There we go. That was that. That's amazing. There, there goes their commander, Psy Focus. This member is currently channeling the psychic efforts of all others. Destroying them will send them into chaos. Oh, so you're the leader this time. Well, that's actually smarter for you. Plus five health per turn. You cure. You you revive your own ships. Like just passively. What's this bull monkey? Barely a scratch. Counter it with a bullseye. Right in his shippy face. Get out of here. All right, buddy. You're not going to stand a chance. I hope you're cool with that. Get that crew panic going. What are they weak against? I don't remember. Weapons disruptions. Oh, we got that. Oh, we do have weapons disrupt disruptions. Let's go with a broadside. Give them everything. Yeah. Breach that hull. Okay. Keep them panicked if we can. That's okay. That's not a bad resistance. Uh, actually, we have a stronger... Yeah, we got the bridge shot. Do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Oh, one health. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gracious. Apparently, we can't use matter reconstruction. Probably because we... It's been too soon since the last fight or something. Not that it matters that much. Anyway, let's throw down a little adaptive armor. They do get the next move, but let's see what healing we get out of that. 75, 71, and they did, 90, ah, they did 98 damage. So it was a net loss. I don't know why I'm trading moves with them, by the way, why Lucas and them are trading, but hey, goodbye. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. We were able to gain a vision of your run-in with the Zealot. At least you tried. Yes, we tried. Pro gamer, all those years playing games paid off. You're done right, Lucas. 500 um, of the dark matter. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Barry got a level up. And, ooh, there's survivors detected here at Westerland, too. Okay, now that that happened, how... Eh, we're in pretty good shape. Hmm... <sighs> Now, let's have them go back to base. We'll, ooh, ooh, do, do not keep the day going. I just want to do that to repair the fleet. There we go. Now they're going to move that way. Barry, in addition to getting himself a rank up to Lieutenant Commander, is also going to get a new skill, maybe. Fire at Will can take down their engines, which is good. Dimensional Flashbang. Uh, I like the idea of leveling up the bridge shot, though. It's strong. So we're going to do that. That was that was unexpected and harsh. Okay. Officer Academy has upgraded. So now we can improve cognition if we want to get even more experience from combat. Or we can make it so that officers automatically start the rank of lieutenant commander. We don't have a commander for that yet. We need a level 7 officer to do that. And we need one to get a new officer as well. So we are far away from either of those. I could put Margo... Oh, no, I can't. I was going to say I could put her on improved cognition, but apparently not. So what is available to us? We can up... We could upgrade to the Knight. I think that's a good idea. Ah, well, that's an engineering ship. We don't have any engineers with us. We could upgrade the Disciple. Let's do that. Let's have Pandora work on that. It'll only take her two days. Mm, what can we do in the repair bay? Repair cost reduction or passive repair. I don't think we need either of those right now. Mm, I'm going to hold off on spending any more resources for now because I am actually pretty close to getting this tier 2. In fact, I think once my team is done with their rounds, I'll be able to afford it. Anyway, 
Let's take these suckers out. Two bashers and a clipper. Clipper's the strongest, so we're going to take it out first. And they are, of course, weak against anything that does damage to the hull. Which I don't really have anything on most of them except for Edith. I like that triple shot. I think it's a great start. Especially when they don't have healers. Uh, I could do the broadside salvo, but nah, I'm thinking... I think a deconstruct is a great way to go because of the double damage and the pretty much guaranteed hull breach that we can then exploit. <laughs> there we go. Good stuff. Ah, uh, no. No, I don't want that. I don't want that, thank you very much. I do want a good hit here, though. Man, the tactical ships, man, they are like... They're so powerful. I mean, I, I th I, I'm sure that's their point. They're the ones that hit the hardest. But I just... I don't know. I guess I was just uh, underestimating them before. Because they are they are really nice. I was hoping for 100 damage there, but that's okay. That's okay. Lucas got this. Mm, I don't think he's got the kill, but he's going to do some more damage at least. And refresh the panic, which is always good. This should finish him, though. One more bullseye. Boom! Right through his ship. Awesome. All right. Our knight's looking a little bit worse for wear here. The disciple's not looking amazing either. Hmm, this is strangely familiar, says Barry. Apparently he's been in this kind of... He's been in this kind of situation before. He just doesn't know it. Let's go ahead and supercharge. Throw some adaptive armor down. There we go. Get our ships feeling a little bit better. Um, let's go with the disabling strike. Ah. If we can knock his weapons down, we can do some real good damage. It's like, wow, all of this losing and dying and it's like not having a good time seems strangely familiar. I I wouldn't imagine why that is, but it's probably not good. There we go. All right. Knock down their weapons. Oh, yeah. Lots of good effects now. Incise them. Decent damage, plus they keep the the uh, bleed, basically, from the hull breach. So that's why I decided to keep that down or on there for now. Another triple shot. Ooh, a critical on the bottom guy. That's nice. Now we take advantage of the hull breach. And warp atomic structure! That was actually a little bit weaker than I thought it would be. Oh, I hit the wrong one. Ah, that was my bad. It's not that big a difference, it looks like, though. Yeah, let's just take him out. Best we can with a bullseye. Edith should be able to... Ooh, I... Edith might be able to take him out this turn. Hmm... No. Well, if I use Broadside, I but I want to save Broadside for the last guy. Let's do a flat barrage. Oh, a critical hit! Yes! Eat it! Awesome! You go, woman! That's what we're talking about! Alright. Let's do a con confusion or a panic. We'll follow that up with a bridge shot, which ought to hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, he, did, he did resist it, but we're going to follow up with a broadside, which has hurt him a lot. Because he's weak against the hull damage. Nice. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do adaptive armor. We're going to have Lucas basically do all healing. Excellent. Uh, you know what? Let's follow that up with a quicken. Or a bend space time. There we go. Now let him move again after Edith moves. He got three turns in a row. Lucas is fast, man. Too fast for you. So I disable him. Oh, yes. Oh. Matter reconstruction, please. You know, we're invincible. We might as well have, be, have full health, too. We're practically invincible right now. Oh, the only thing we're missing is something that makes our enemies vulnerable. If we had that, Barry would be an absolute monster. Keep that, uh, keep that breach in the hull. 
one bullseye, and then Lucas should be able to finish him with a incisor, or not incisor beam, uh, with a warp atomic structure. Actually, incisor beam probably would have done it too. 42 health is not a lot. Boom. All right. Good stuff. I love it. Uh, Lucas's fleet made co contact with the colony. Continue production. Give us 29 crew, please. Okay. Now, we're going to have our group here run around for a bit. We have plenty of fuel, so I think I'm going to have them hit all of our hot spots here. Grab as many crew as we can. Probably even fight that fight, because I'm pretty sure they can do it. A pirate fleet is sailing us. Federation scum, this is Lieutenant Starstabber. Formerly of Zeb Zealots, now of Starstabber Slicers. I submit to you a list of demands. Hold on, are you sure we're getting audio? I'm not, I'm not getting anything. <laughs> Star, <laughs> Star Slabber, uh, sorry? Sorry, what? Yeah, I tried that. What a nightmare. Ah. Hello? Oh, shit. <laughs> you were saying? Federation scum, this is Lieutenant Starstab... Yeah, affirmative, Lieutenant, we heard that. Okay, wow. Uh, let, let's just cut to the chase, I guess. <laughs> let's. The Adbrax has gone off the deep end, so to speak. He's exhausted about 25% of our fleet on attacking your station. Frankly, after crunching the numbers, it's just not feasible for our operation. So I was thinking, I'm just going to make myself scarce for a time, and I'll transfer you to the location of Admirax Zeb's asteroid base. Uh, if you could maybe neutralize him, uh, that might be best for everyone involved. I, I don't ever think I don't think I've ever met a space pirate with less spine. Uh, those are your demands, pretty much. Wow. Look like, seriously. Wow. Uh, Commander Lieutenant Starstabber, the pirate just transferred us to the location of the Admirax's base. We should be able to mount a raid on it as soon as you feel the fleet is ready. <laughs> wow, they really don't like her, him, do they? Let's see, there's the Yabbling Alliance. There's a Corazon Consensus. Uh, there's, there's the base. Yeah, it's right here. Secret Pirate Base. Defeat the Admirax. There he is. He's, like, he's got a Buccaneer Mark III. That's actually not that bad. We could probably take that out right away if we wanted to, but let's finish our, uh, let's finish our rounds here. Uh, the hangar has finished its task, so we have an upgrade done. Science upgrade for the Acolyte is next. You know what, Pandora, you're driving the Acolyte. You might as well get that upgrade for it. Okay. There's a bunch of materials. Good, good, good. Could we take this? Yeah, we can take this. Come on. Let's do this. Lucas and company got nothing to be afraid of here. Let's start off with... A crew panic on the clipper. Let's check out that clipper's damage first. That's what I like. That's what I'm liking right now. Strategy that's working out for me, I think. Okay. We're going to follow that up with a polarity. Get the attention here on Edith, since she can take the damage better than anyone else. Hmm. Couple little cannons, actually. That barely a scratch, he says, but that, that actually did quite a bit of damage. A lot more than I want. Wow, these guys are resisting everything. We're at least keeping him panicked, so we can keep getting hits on him, but... Well, I was saying. But he was resisting pretty much every other shot. Spike's not good. That's a hull breach on us. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Mm. Let's go with a weapons disruption if we can. No! God! Wow, this guy is with his resisting. As long as they're firing on us, I'm actually okay with that. Because as long as they're firing on us, the brood pods are not healing each other. All right, we are we're keeping the panic. The, the, that crew is like completely off the wall, panicked. But man, Bullseye will take him out. Right there, right, right in the eyeball. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. What are you going to do? You going to send out your little piddly brood pods? Because they don't mean anything to us right now. All right, I think we need some adaptive armor, especially since uh, Lucas is getting two turns in a row here. His speed is insane, man. All right. Got some reinforcement going on. Let's hit this. Let's get the uh, healer out of the way next. I'm not too worried about this guy's damage. Finally got a weapons disruption. 
means we can come in with the incisor beam for big damage or bigger damage. Ooh. Yeah, Edith's get, taking a lot of damage here. Let's do the, the double hit here. Not technically a triple strike since I only hit one of them. I don't like that resist. Yeah, she's taking a lot of damage here. Let's throw down some more armor. All right, good, good, good. Sable? Good, excellent. Great evasion there. That was awesome. All right, Lucas. Finish this guy. Uh, could spin the wind take him out? Oh, there's a chance. I want, I want to take, take a chance. No! No! Not one health! No! Anything but that! You jerk! You one health jerk! Ah! Oh, well. That's okay. We're fine. Broadside sounds appropriate here since he's the last one left. Excellent. That was apparently an easy dodge. I'm gonna follow that up with a bridge shot. <laughs> Good damage. Follow that up with an incisor beam. Excellent. Let's do flak barrage next. His turn, he goes straight after our weakened knight, which I guess is kind of the smartest thing for him. Let's take advantage of that hull breach, though. Great hit here. Come on. Yes. Uh, this is next. Oh, the crit! Oh, that was perfect timing. Matter reconstruction. We don't have our... Uh, we don't have our anti -ma or our matter reconstruction yet, so we're not going to be able to do that. That's okay. Because I think we got the victory. Oh, almost. Uh, we actually don't have any heals on him right now. Boom. That's fine. We did take out another another portal though. It seems our portal, our fleet's location, it disappeared. Yeah, we know. And now Barry is a pro gamer. Good thing he remembered that he was good at games, I guess. Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and grab them. Oh, oh, oh! Lucas, one of the interns, fell into the warp drive. He's fine. But we lost 33 dark matter. Ugh. And then again, uh, he also found 15 crew just stranded out in space. Oh, continue production, transfer fuel. Good, good, good. All right. Barry, you got that level up a while ago. So we have an Ensign now. Ensign Ducard, which gives four speed to our legendary knight. Amazing. And Petty Officer Sulo gives evasion to the, our marksman. Awesome. Uh, you know what? Go... Darn it. Can I view this? I was going to say, let's uh, actually not have our crew stay there, but I guess it's too late to change that. Let's head over to this area since it's full. Just because it's far away, I'm thinking maybe bringing the crew back to Halcyon might be a better idea. That is the other, the other research there, and it actually got Pandora level up. I'm thinking Nano Restoration 2 is probably a no-brainer here. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing heal. Let's make it better. All right. Let's have our crew move here, and then we're going to swing around back home. Salvage 51 materials by finding a shipwreck in space. Awesome. And, ooh, glad it was the space junk. Had to spend 76 materials on repairs. So, ups and downs all around. Yay. All right. Keep going. So all Yanthu signals have just arrived. They sent us a hail. Terran Starbase, based on wreckage flowing nearby, seems you did us a favor, destroying the fleet of our rebel nemesis, the Zlar Pesagarade, or whatever there it's called. We apologize that you were able to that you were forced to take part in our internal conflict, flick, but we are highly impressed with your adroitness. Uh, yeah, don't let it happen again. On behalf of the Zlar Yanthu Directorate, we formally thank you for your actions. Great. Could have thanked us with some with some resources there, but that's okay. Dang, emergency repairs again. That's really sucking up our uh, materials there. Let's head down here. There's 150 materials here, so let's grab that. Transfer that to us. Excellent. 
Go here, grab this 135 dark matter. We're still going to have over 100 fuel after all this. So I think that was 100% worth it. Boop. 39 more fuel. And then we send these boys home. Awesome. 128 crew, 234 materials, 135 dark matter. You guys know what that means. It means that we could get Terran ship tier twos. Ooh, they have to be at least level four. That's okay. So this is the tier one hangar. So we can't construct tier two ships until we get a tier two hangar, of course. So let's build that. Where, or what do we need for it? 900 resources, 12 power, jeez. Okay, we need more reactors. We need a lot more. We can get by with one more reactor. So let's get that reactor built. And next, we need a lot of materials, so we're going to work on that. Okay. So that's the path to Tier 2 ships, starting right there. Let's wait. Let's wait a bit. We need to just hold off for a second. Edith and Lucas are really close to getting their level ups, though. I kind of want to... I kind of want to get take advantage of that somehow, but I'm not sure how yet. Can't research one of the new ra reactors. I could have. I sh probably should have done that first to build a more efficient reactor, but that's okay. I think... Can I actually take down the old reactors? I'm not sure. I don't know if you can do that. That might be something that can be done later, but... I'm not 100% sure. Let's upgrade our knight because we had it for a while and it's not been doing anything for us. So we'll have Edith work on that. There's more crew to be picked up too. All right. That's one level up for the knight and we'll get the juggernaut upgrade as well. It's, it hasn't even been operating at maximum capacity because we haven't had the upgrades for it. Reactor's online. That's good. And research done. Nice. So Berserker and... Yeah, the water upgrades on one. Let's go ahead and get that upgrade. Just because we can afford it right this second. We're going to need to do another another round soon. Oh, where, where did you guys come from? How long have you been up there at Eagle? Huh. I thought that place was destroyed. Oh, well. And we can start taking out pirates soon as well. Which I think is going to be something that we're going to be doing. Probably not right away, but soon. Because that'll give us a lot more resources, because then we can use these planets, I think. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for right now. Thank you once again for watching another episode of Halcyon 6 Starbase Commander. If you enjoyed it, please leave it a like. It helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys next time, when we go after these pirates, I think. Alright.